Hi, and welcome to episode 4 of Mr. Antis's Let's Play Minecraft. As you can see, uh, I'm on top of my Twin Towers again with my uh, big ball of fire hanging up there. I really like this sculpture. Yeah, it's it, it looks good. That's all I'm gonna say. It, it looks really good. Especially from down below at night. So good in fact that I uploaded a uh, showcase piece from over there. Uh, I've been doing quite a bit off screen. Uh, I've not been building. Uh, mostly I've just been running around having a look of the local area. I haven't explored far. Uh, I just had a look into some of those holes just to see if there were proper caves or whatnot. Apparently they are not. Uh, at the moment uh, what I'd like to accomplish during the next few parts is finishing the stairs. Uh, over there I started a uh, pit. It's connected to a small cave over here. Uh, I am going to go for a fairly deep one and I'm going to build a crane or a, something that resembles a crane. Whether or not I'm going to be successful remains to be seen. But I am going to try. Uh, over there we have an island and my spawn point is actually visible from that island. My spawn point is actually right behind that edge there's uh, uh, well there's a taiga here uh, this is uh, I think a thundra it's a wet thundra area with uh, some snowy mountains and uh, this is a taiga area and behind it we have a swamp and then we have uh, the foresty biome with my spawn in it and I am planning out how to do the road now the most s scenic route is along this edge if I fetch my compass you may actually see that my spawn is over the water uh, this is uh, no, not really an inland lake but it's sort of surrounded by land like so so just outside of reach you'll see more land over there so the fastest way is actually over the ice but my road is going the wrong direction and uh, most likely I am going to pull it over there and then let it turn behind so that's something we're gonna wor work with today uh, and that means that I have to actually mark it out. And you're going to get to be a part of that in uh, fast forward mode. nice find and in the middle of my road area I'm gonna dig this out iron is far too precious to just let it lie there without taking it so quickly gonna dig this up and uh, then you're going to decide on road building material uh, there's several ways that are quite nice for building roads uh, I often use gravel as a road building material. Gravel is nice looking when you use it for roads, but I don't really have much gravel right now. And that's uh, ki <laughs> kind of inhibiting me. Uh, some of these trees are going to go away. Like this one. 
I need lumber, so. And this is pine lumber. It's uh, going to be perfect for what I want to build with it. So I'm not going to turn it into planks. It's for keepsies. There we go. I'll just plug it for now. Trying to keep it approximately a straight line. Ooh, another, another tree has to bite the dust. Uh, for this road, I am going to use. than gravel. I'm going to use cobblestone and make a cobble road. So there's a need to build a, a big pit. And that's where this wood comes in. And that's why I wanted to mark out this area a bit because I intend to chop down a few of these pine trees. They are beautiful, and I usually try to conserve them. In this case, the need for lumber, or particularly dark pine lumber, because it's just perfect, uh, counts more. I don't like the fact that they're so tall, though. Oh no! Come back here! There you go. Oh, it's getting dark. Did I remember to put this on? I didn't. Oh. Back to normal you go. I have to give the monsters a fair chance. And I'm gonna fast forward running back again. sleep and I have a fair amount of tools I have some of the lumber hopefully we'll find uh, some skeleton leftovers so that I can plant a few trees because I need some planks as well so I'm gonna start by Doing a number on that creeper. Ah, this is nice. And this is where the pit goes. So, I need to build a uh, crane. But where to have it? Mm, I can hear a zombie. Yeah, there's a big hole in here. I have to remove this water. I'm sorry water, but you have to go. Oh. There you go. There's a big cave here. Very nice. So, let's get out of this pit. And I think, because the road's going to go here, that a nice site for the crane would actually be here. Or maybe here. Yeah. It's gonna be decent. Like, uh... No, I'll have to chop that down again. The 
screen goes here. There we go. And then we need a sort of cross bar or lifting rig. Because that's usually how cranes operate. And I need... I'm not entirely sure of this, but there should be some kind of cobblestone thing on the end. Actually, I think I'm going to use smooth stone for that. Like a big slab thing. There we go, a counterweight. That's what they call them. And I'm going to need some fencing. And the fencing is going in the middle. Yes, I'm going to use fencing for this. I don't know if, it'll, if this will work. It may actually not work, but we'll find out. Ouch, breaking legs. Breaking legs. Not good. Uh, I need some more wood. That's where the saplings come in. Just gonna plant them. Like that. And we'll see what happens. If I had any bone meal, I would have used that. This is gonna look good. I'll put fencing on it. So sort of rigging and then I'll put fences down here hang a chest or something from it that looked nice